Today I'm going to show you what spark plugs you should buy for your car. Now spark plugs play an important part in how your car runs, so you want the right ones in. You don't want to waste money on buying something that's too expensive, but you don't want to buy cheap junk that isn't going to work right. So I'm going to show you how you can pick the right ones and save money at the same time. Now engineers spend a lot of time and energy designing the right spark plugs, so of course the original equipment ones will always work right. Now this Toyota Matrix originally came with Nippon Denso Iridium spark plugs, so of course if you bought them they'd be great for the car. When I pull these out, you'll see they're Iridium and they're Denso, they're Nippon Denso, they're the factory spark plugs. But when you replace them, you don't have to buy Nippon Denso, NGK Iridium plugs are fine, or any other quality manufacturer. They all have very good quality control, you just want to make sure that it's the right one for the vehicle, people can look it up for you, and that it's an Iridium plug, because Iridium plugs last the longest. For example, this Toyota has 68,000 miles on it. The plugs have never been changed, and they've still got plenty of life left in them. I've seen some cars with Iridium plugs that had 200,000 miles on them with the original spark plugs and they still ran fine. But I wouldn't push it that far and here's the reason why. As spark plugs wear, the gap where the spark goes gets wider and wider over time. If it gets too wide it makes the ignition system work a lot harder and it can burn parts of the ignition system out. And computer ignition parts on modern cars aren't cheap so me, I just change them every 100,000 miles regardless. Now if you're curious about wear, you can use one of these gauges, see what the wear is, and in this case, it's about 40 thousandths of an inch. And the specs for this car is 39 thousandths of an inch to 51 thousandths of an inch. So since it's 40 thousandths of an inch, these babies are hardly even worn at 60 thousand miles. And if you noticed, I use these wire gauges. Not a good idea to use these cheap $2 flat ones, because when you check them, a lot of times you can bend stuff the wires are much more accurate and safe to measure the spark plug gap. Now since Iridium spark plugs last the longest, even longer than Platinum, I'll use them in most cars that I tune up these days, just because it's going to last such a long time, why not spend the extra few bucks on Iridium plugs and not have to think about it for 100,000 miles. So whatever brand you decide on using, here's some tips on how to change the spark plugs right. First, be cautious as a cat. You don't want to break anything. Take your time and work on a cold engine. Most heads are made of soft aluminum alloys. Work on a hot engine, you can rip the threads. Do it when the engine is cold. And on most modern cars, don't put any kind of a lubricant on the threads. These threads generally already have zinc or something else plated on them, and if you put a lubricant on, you're actually going to torque them on the head incorrectly, which can cause problems later. And when you put the new spark plugs in, I've been doing it for a long time, so I just get them tight, then I get them a little bit snug to make them right. But you can use a torque wrench if you're not sure. This one uses 18 foot pounds, so we'll turn it until it's at 18 and it locks in place. Then we turn it until it clicks. And now we know the spark plug is set in perfectly. And I've got another tip for everybody out there too. Don't be suckered in by this nonsense that, oh, these special spark plugs will get more horsepower and better gas mileage. It's a load of baloney. The OEM equipment ones are what they were designed for, and they run best with that design. And like I said, it doesn't matter who manufactures them, as long as it's a quality manufacturer. Plenty of guys make good spark plugs, but you want to make sure it's the same exact design that the car originally came with. So the next time you're changing spark plugs on your car, now you know how to do it right. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late and I end up in here. <laughs>